Amen, amen, amen. Back with another update, man. Back with another update. Shout out to Doug, bro. Y'all go check Doug's video. Let's get it. For the longest time, the media has said that Trump was lying about Biden. Of course, they tell all of us that. When uh, Trump said, you know, goes around and he's been imitating Biden, wandering on stage, saying he's mentally unfit. Not just that he's the worst president, but that there's something wrong with him. Well, now the facts are coming something out about wrong with Biden. You. <laughs> and he is indeed mentally unfit. Mike Johnson says as much here in much kinder words, which so I'll say this is the most gentlemanly thing you can say about Biden by Mike Johnson. Welcome to Doug in Exile. Let's watch. Do you think the president is mentally fit? Jesse, I've spent a little bit of time with him, and I, I'm sad to tell you that I don't think he is. Mike Johnson is a gentleman, and being as <laughs> cautious as he possibly can, with no rhetoric, he simply said he is mentally unfit. He agreed with Jesse Waters. So minimum case, he's saying it. There's no exaggeration. There's no anger, no vitriol, just... He's unfit. And the reason I'm sad is because we are projecting weakness on the world stage. All of our adversaries around the world can see and follow exactly what you and I and the American people are. We, we have a weak president, and that's why our enemies are acting so provocatively right now. This is not a game. It's really not a laughing matter. It's a dangerous situation. So now he's giving evidence. He's saying part of the proof that shows that Biden is weak is how the world responds. They fill that vacuum of weakness with their evil strength, they come out and start pouring out and they're uh, launching attacks, including on our own embassies, but also on other countries because we're not there to flex. And this election in November can't get here soon enough. And, and elections are how we solve this problem. When you say you spend time with the president and you've determined in your opinion that he's not mentally fit enough to be president, what do you mean? What did you see? I, I don't mean to be uncharitable here. Look, we respect the office, right? And, and people can't they can't change how they age. Everybody ages differently. I'm I really like how he's being a gentleman here. People age differently. He's just going, look, Biden's just a victim of age. He may also be a criminal, but in this case, he actually can't function because of his decline associated with age. And, it, and he's right. We do respect the office. By the way, we respect the office so much. It's why we don't just throw him out right now, even though he's in an office. It's because he's in an office. And even in his mental decline, you don't just instantly swap out, even though he can't do the job. That's out of respect for all Biden is as an office right now. The office of presidency going all the way back to George Washington. We respect the office. That man that's sitting in it uh, got nothing for you, Joe Biden. No respect. I'm just telling you that President Biden is not on his A game. Can I say it that way? I mean, he's he's in person. He's. Um, he, he's rather slow, and obviously his staff uh, handles him very carefully. I've heard it said that the elevator doesn't go to the top floor on Joe Biden. And yeah, his staff, they have this group of people going around making all the decisions for him, obviously, because Biden, the only decision he can really t do is like just, he's going back to being a child, like, me want ice cream. Me want ice cream. And I'm me want you, ice Biden. cream. When I'm 88 <laughs> years old and me I lose my mind, cream. I will also just be walking around saying, give me ice cream, and I hope my family gives me some ice cream. I just don't hope they allow me to embarrass myself of putting me in the driver's seat of the country that is ruling the world right now, that leads the world. That's the problem. It's not that people get old. It's not that Biden likes ice cream. It's that he's the leader of the free world and no one's driving the free world. Uh, for, for more than six weeks, I requested a meeting with the president one-on-one. -on -one. The Speaker of the House and the President of the United States should be able to have a meeting. I, I needed to talk to him about very serious classified matters regarding national security and, of course, the border as well. Um, they couldn't arrange that meeting. They wouldn't arrange that meeting. Uh, when, the, when he finally relented, he invited uh, five others to join us. So, you know, there was the vice president was there and Chuck Schumer and Mitch McConnell and Hakeem Jeffries. Um, I, I think that these two offices, the persons who hold these two offices, need to be able to communicate more regularly. And that's been difficult with this president. And frankly, I think it's because they don't want to put me in a room with him alone. They're, they may be afraid of what he might say if he goes off script. And uh, again, I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. These are just the facts that everybody can see. These are the facts that everybody can see. I, I love how respectful and underplayed Mike Johnson is. I want I just wanted to present that to you guys that without all of the 
FJB, anger, screaming, whatever. It's just with the most kind, cautious way you can say Biden is mentally unfit. Do you guys think the Democrats are going to remove this guy? Are they going to replace him with someone else before the election? Are they going to run with Biden to the election? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Doug in exit. Hey man, hey man, just comment down below what you guys think of this. Just comment down below. And when you comment down below, don't forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to like. When you like, don't forget, don't forget to share. When you share, don't forget to come back again and do it again and again and again. I wish you all the best in your life, bro. You know, may the Lord bless you with blessings, everything you want. Go for it, work hard, man. It might not happen now, but like in the future. But <laughs> hey, man, just comment down below for more. Just comment down below what you guys think, and I'm gonna keep on uh, keep on bringing updates, 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 updates until you're tired, until you know what's going on every single day. So, boo! See you guys in the next video. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm gone. <laughs>